dollar bill is where it's at. So will we on the field the court? They better be aware of that. They scared of that. Of course, look at the ceiling. What up, Mr. Floyd? Yeah, it's Collinsville. And yes, I'm glad to say that I'm a K-Hawk. I'm about to graduate. Yeah, uh-huh. You know what it is. Collinsville High School. A champion. Yeah, uh-huh. Screaming, that's us. And we on top. Boy, quit fussing. All around. everyone and welcome to Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium here on the campus of Collinsville High School. My name is Todd Duke and glad that you're with us here on the Kayhawk Sports Network as we welcome you in the little boys volleyball action as your Collinsville Kayhawks get ready to take on the Owls of the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience from across the river in St. Louis. And again my name is Todd Duke. Welcome into the pregame show brought to you tonight by Cafe Agape in Collinsville. Cafe Agape, home of the K-Hawk Chicken Sandwich. Cafe Agape celebrating their 10th anniversary later this year, offering catering, some of the best home-cooked food in the area, pork steaks, chicken, meatloaf. Side dishes include mashed potatoes, loaded mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese, green beans, you name it, man. And Cafe Agape probably has it. And they'll take care of you if you have an event coming up, such as a wedding reception, a business luncheon. Maybe you have an awards ceremony that you need to plan because your sports team is getting ready to end their spring season. So all that and more, graduation parties, got one of those coming up? Give Cafe Agape a call at 345-CAFE. That's 345-2233. Well, the Chaos come into this contest with an overall record of 4-6. and six. They are 0-4 in Southwestern Conference play. And they are under their first-year head coach, Mike Nichols, the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience. They come in with an overall record of one and four, and they are under their first-year head coach, Alicia Kennedy. Both of these programs are experiencing their first year of playing boys' varsity volleyball. For those of you that don't know where the uh, Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience is located, it's just a couple of blocks south of Tower Grove Park near Kings Highway and Arsenal. I believe it was the old Cleveland School back in the uh, St. Louis Public School District area. So uh, that's where they are from. And just like Collinsville, they are uh, playing their first season of boys varsity volleyball. The school itself was founded in 2013, so only nine years ago. As of right now, they do not have a football program, a golf program, wrestling, or bowling. But they do have 
all of the other sports, and they're just getting up and running with some of those as they uh, moved into their new digs just a couple of years ago, and now they have uh, places like a gymnasium and a football field and a soccer field to play high school sports. So uh, they're uh, just getting up and running. Collinsville, they're coming off of a two-set loss last night right here uh, against uh, Father McGivney High School, 25-21 and 25-18 were the scores in those two sets. Cahawk had uh, lost at Father McGivney in their second match of the year, second match of the program's year, first loss of the program after that season opening win over Saxony Lutheran. The uh, Cahawk snapped a four-game losing streak Thursday with a two-set home open win, uh, or excuse me, a two-set home win over Hazelwood West, 25-19, 25-12. That four-game losing streak was all against Southwestern Conference teams, Belleville East, Edwardsville, O'Fallon, and Belleville West, and all of those were two-set losses. The Owls, they are coming off a three-sets-to-one loss at Hazelwood West last night. So there's your common opponent right there. Collinsville snapped their losing streak against Hazelwood West, and the Owls just lost to Hazelwood West last night. Three sets to one. They play uh, best of five sets over in Missouri. The Owls took set number two, 25 to 20, but they lost sets one, three, and four. And the only win on the year for the Owls thus far came in the uh, season's second match, a three-set win over Soldan, 25-15, 25-6, and 25-18. So now you know what I know when it comes to uh, these two schools and especially the Owls over there. They have... Uh, Quite the task on their hands, as does Collinsville playing in their very first year. All right, we continue interviewing our seniors as we wind down the 2021-2022 school year. We're trying to interview as many of the seniors as we can before the uh, seasons come to a close, and we continue that with boys volleyball as well. Senior Malachi Oliver was kind enough to join me just a little while ago, and we'll pass along the conversation with the Cahawk senior volleyballer in just a moment as the Cafe Agape pregame show continues here on the Cahawk Sports Network. Cafe Agape serves up some of the best sandwiches, burgers, pork steaks, meatloaf, fish, and more in Collinsville. And yes, they still cater. Wedding receptions, luncheons, business meetings, and much more. And Cafe Agape is your destination for all of your holiday and party favorites, both main courses as well as delicious sides. Cafe Agape in Collinsville is the only place to pick up a Cahawk sandwich or dog and the new Flamin' Cahawk sandwich. Cafe Agape. Check them out at 703 St. Louis Road. Give them a call at 345-CAFE. That's 345-2233. And don't forget to tell them Stewie sent you. The Junior Service Club of Collinsville has been a proud supporter of KOXSports.com and the KOX Sports Network from day one. Since 1934, the Junior Service Club of Collinsville has been providing women in the community an opportunity to make a difference with fundraisers and projects, all that go towards helping the needy in Collinsville. If you would like any information on any event sponsored by the Collinsville Junior Service Club, head to Facebook, type in Collinsville Junior Service Club, and then click on the event tab. We thank the Collinsville Junior Service Club for their continued support of the Cahawk Sports Network and CahawkSports.com. Calling all sports fans. Looking for a great place to watch the game with your crew? Look no further than the Lucky Fox Sports Bar in Caseyville. The Lucky Fox shows Collinsville Cahawk sports on the big screen, plus UFC fights, boxing, Cardinals and Blues, and all of the NFL games with the NFL ticket and enough TVs that you'll be sure to find the game you want. And the food? How about Taco Tuesdays, Wing Wednesdays, plus burgers, sandwiches, pizza, steak, and more, including great drink specials and the coldest brew in town. And don't forget to try your luck at the Lucky Fox Gaming Room. Dine in and catch a game or order carryout with the Lucky Fox. The Lucky Fox Sports Bar, 1101 Caseyville Road, right across the street from Cahawk Stadium. Open daily at 11 a.m. Check out the Lucky Fox Facebook page for daily specials. The Lucky Fox, 618-855-9500. Projects in and around your home can be daunting and overwhelming. Take the stress out of those projects and let AW Indoor and Outdoor Solutions do all the heavy lifting. Former Cahawk Adam Welly can help knock those projects off your list. From framing drywall, painting, and stair work inside, to deck work, hardscapes, and concrete and retaining wall construction outside your home, including power washing and brush removal. Whatever the task, AW Indoor and Outdoor Solutions can help. 
Call Adam Welly for a free estimate at AW Indoor and Outdoor Solutions, 314-252-8010. That's 314-252-8010. Your home is where you feel happy, safe, and secure. So if you see signs of foundation problems like cracks or uneven floors, worrying is natural and getting it fixed is crucial. Woods Basement Systems understands. We've been solving foundation worries since 1986. Woods experts have the training and equipment to make permanent repairs. So stop worrying because with Woods, it's fixed forever. Foundation problems don't get better with time. They get better with Woods, the all things basementy experts. Call or go to woodsbasementsystems.com today. Cafe Agape serves up some of the best sandwiches, burgers, pork steaks, meatloaf, fish, and more in Collinsville. And yes, they still cater. Wedding receptions, luncheons, business meetings, and much more. And Cafe Agape is your destination for all of your holiday and party favorites, both main courses as well as delicious sides. Cafe Agape in Collinsville is the only place to pick up a Cahawk sandwich or dog and the new Flamin' Cahawk sandwich. Cafe Agape. Check them out at 703 St. Louis Road. Give them a call at 345-CAFE. That's 345-2233. And don't forget to tell them Stewie sent you. And we welcome you back into the Cafe Agape pregame show here on the Chaos Sports Network. We are at home tonight. Home would be Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium here at Collinsville High School. Boys volleyball is what we have for you. Collinsville getting ready to take on the College of Medicine and Bioscience, the Cahawks versus the Owls. We continue talking to our seniors this year. This is their last year, and we continue that with number seven, senior Malachi Oliver, his first year with the volleyball team. Uh, First of all, thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time out. I mean, thanks for letting me come. I mean, it wasn't really your choice. Coach sent me up here. But, I mean, I'm happy to be here, happy to answer some questions, and, uh, yeah. All right, let's talk about uh, family first, man. Tell me a little bit about your family. Don't leave anything out. Brothers, sisters, you got pets, you got a lizard, you got a ferret. I want to hear all about it. Uh, I got a big family. My family's really big. Um, My parents aren't together, so starting there, there's my mom and my dad, uh, Jen Jen and Brandon. There's my stepmom and stepdad, Brian and Brandy. On my dad's side, I've got three siblings. I've got a half-brother, his name's Dylan. I've got two stepsisters, and their names are Mercedes, we call her Merce, and Jameson. If you go to my mom's side, I've got a stepbrother and sister named Nick and Natalie. And then uh, on my dad's side, I got a dog, his name's Queso. On my mom's side, we have a cat, his name's Speckles. He doesn't like anyone. That's not me or my mom. Interesting fact about my cat, I guess. I think that's a pretty interesting fact about most cats. Yeah. All right, let's talk sports here. Um, first year on the volleyball team. Last year you were on the baseball team. I saw your name on the roster, but I didn't see any stats for that. So I'm guessing on the varsity side you might not have got a lot of play, but on the JV side you did. So why did you make the switch from baseball to volleyball? Um, I. It's not that I didn't like baseball. It's not that I have, like, a problem with anybody on the baseball team. It's more so I just... I kind of just didn't really want to play baseball anymore, you know. You kind of you kind of get into those grooves where like you do something so long you're like, can we can we change? Can we can we switch things? I don't want to do this thing anymore. Let's do a different thing. All right. So, uh, why volleyball and um, when did you start even thinking about boys volleyball? Um, I've always really liked volleyball. I think I really started to get into it last year. Uh, there was a girls volleyball game that I went to uh, with a friend of mine, best friend, my best friend, his name's Caden, and he, he invited me and I went with him, and it was like really entertaining. Like, like, probably, like, I, I like watching football. football. Football and basketball are my two favorite sports to watch. I don't, I like playing football, basketball's okay, I'm not very good at it, so I don't really play it. But, I, I like, I, like, I enjoyed watching it. Like, it was really entertaining to watch. And so, like, when I was thinking about what else I wanted to do, I ran track in middle school, and that was fun, but, like, I'm not as fast as I was. I tore an ACL. So, like, that's not really an option. So, instead, I, I picked this. All right. I call this segment my favorite things. This is going to be your favorite things. All right, you ready? We're going to go. We're going to go quick here. Favorite class in high school? Uh, geometry. Favorite movie? Um, um... Next question. 
Favorite music? Um, my favorite artist would be J. Cole. Favorite restaurant? Um, Colton's. Favorite sweet snack? Sweet and sour Skittles. Favorite salty snack? Bacon. Favorite soft drink? Barks Root Beer. The vanilla kind, though. All right. Uh, favorite podcast? Um, definitely Cafe Agave. All right, cool. So uh, that's the first time I ever asked the podcast question. I didn't know if that was going to fly with the teenage group or not. I figured it might. All right, uh, first-year volleyball program. You guys are uh, struggling just a little bit. You get some wins here. You get some wins there. Really struggling against the Southwestern Conference teams, but they've got a leg up on you guys because they've been doing this for a long time. So give me your thoughts on the first year of the Collinsville Chaos Varsity volleyball program. Um, I I personally really like it here. Um, I've I've come to know a lot of these guys. They're A lot of them are really cool. Uh, a lot of them are really growing, and like being a senior, it's weird not being able to teach kids because a lot of what I used to do is get new players like into like what we do. That was like kind of one of the things that I used to do, or at least what I so one of the things I felt like I did. And so like not being able to do it is weird, but like everybody's been really nice everybody's like really like welcome me here i feel like everybody's been really appreciative of, of me being here of me wanting to play the sport and i don't know i just i really appreciate these guys being the way they have and accepting me playing accepting that it's my first year and that i don't know what the hell i'm doing even though i'm a senior so that's an awesome answer, man. All right, final question for you, man. You're uh, graduating next month, so uh, what's in the plans? What's the future hold for Malachi Oliver? Uh, I'm going to go to ISU, and I'm going to hopefully major in finances. It might change. It might not. I don't think it will. I, so I've wanted to do that for a while, but, yeah, that's really all. Uh, it's going to be a fun time over there, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'm just really hoping that when I go to college, I have a good time, and, yeah, that's really it. That's always the plan when you go off to college, and I guarantee you probably will. All right, uh, thank you very much for the visit. Good luck tonight, and uh, good luck in your future. Thank you. Malachi Oliver, Collinsville Calc Boys Volleyball Team. We'll take a break here on the Cafe Agape pregame show. When we come back, we will pass the starting lineups for both teams for you. We'll do that next year on the Chaos Sports Network. Cafe Agape serves up some of the best sandwiches, burgers, pork steaks, meatloaf, fish, and more in Collinsville. And yes, they still cater. Wedding receptions, luncheons, business meetings, and much more. And Cafe Agape is your destination for all of your holiday and party favorites, both main courses as well as delicious sides. Cafe Agape in Collinsville is the only place to pick up a Cahawk sandwich or dog and the new Flamin' Cahawk sandwich. Cafe Agape. Check them out at 703 St. Louis Road. Give them a call at 345 Cafe. That's 345 2233. And don't forget to tell them Stewie sent you. At Visionary Wealth Advisors, we empower you to see your future before it's your future. To create your inheritance. To build your vision. To anticipate the known and unknown. And to find potential in both. And build new dawns. Visionary Wealth Advisors. Visit Brad Keen with Visionary Wealth Advisors at his new Collinsville office located at 106 North Clinton or call Brad at 618-467-8420. Keep your ride shiny and clean with Extreme Details Vehicle Detailing in Collinsville. Extreme Details owned and operated by former Cahawk Jay Merkel. Jay and his crew at Extreme Details believe in the value of community and in helping their community hold the value of their vehicles with a sharp looking clean ride that you and your community can be proud of. Extreme Details can handle any job, whether you drive a small car, an SUV, or even a bus or an RV. No job is too big or too small at Extreme Details. 
Extreme Details offers scratch and oxidation removal, and they vacuum every vehicle regardless of what package you choose. Cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, and more. Plus, Extreme Details can handle fleet vehicles for your company. Call Jay and the gang at Extreme Details at 977-1224 or visit Extreme Details at 936 St. Louis Road in Collinsville. Check for periodic specials on the Extreme Details Facebook page. Put the shine in your ride with Extreme Details. Drink it in. Powerful. Vibrant. Nutrient-rich fuel. For healthy, active, experience-rich lives. Each ingredient chosen carefully. Every blend crafted masterfully. Nurturing your passion. Nourishing your purpose. So you can be your best self. Live your best life. And rule the day. I couldn't ask for a better agent, for a better company, in a time like this, in a disaster where you have no idea where to start. I learned that there's not a given in life. It takes a team. There's people that are gonna watch out for us and they care. It's been pretty stressful once we uh, Saw Lori and got our plan, it's uh, a lot better now. It was uh, a like better. a huge weight lifted. In Collinsville, call Scott Allen at 618-346-1500. Code 3 Barbecue Supply, home of Code 3 Spices, is first responder owned by proud Cahawk alums. Located at 302 East Main Street, Code 3 Barbecue Supply is your home for one-of-a-kind everything barbecue headquarters. Providing the best American-made barbecue grills, smokers, rubs, sauces, accessories, and cooking expertise from professional barbecue experts. Code 3 Spices provides award-winning rubs and sauces and donates 25 cents a unit sold to first responder and military organizations to aid the fallen and assist with suicide prevention and PTSD awareness. Stop on by. See the guys at Code 3 Barbecue Supply for all of your cooking and grilling needs. Code 3 Barbecue Supply, home of the Memphis in May first place world champion Patriot sauce. Learn more about their products and mission in giving back to those who serve at Code3Spices.com. Pace Design and Construction in Maryville. Whether building a new home, making an addition to the home you currently own, or finally getting around to that remodeling job you've been putting off, Pace Design and Construction in Maryville can help. Pace Design and Construction is a building and remodeling contractor you can trust. They provide the highest quality, they are dedicated to their customers, and are committed to completing your project on time and within budget. Pace Design and Construction in Maryville. Give them a call at 618 618- 407-5466 online at PaceDesignConstruct.com or on Facebook at Pace Construction Design. And once again, we welcome you back to Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium as we get you set for this boys volleyball contest between Collinsville and the Owls of Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience. We're going to just call them the Owls probably from here on out. That's a mouthful. All right, here are your starting lineups. We'll begin with the Owls. And you will find on the floor as the outside hitter, Junior Ezra Botts on the right side. You will find Kai Stocky. He is a six-foot senior. Eli Garrett is the setter. He is a 5'9 junior. Nick Raymond Huck or Huck Raymond. I'm not, they have their names backwards on this roster. Uh, last name's first, first name's last. Outside hitter, six foot one junior, is Huck Raymond. On the uh, defensive specialist side of things, you have Tyler Davis, who is a five foot eight sophomore, and the middle hitter is Isaac Scott, who is a six foot two senior. For Collinsville, you will find on the floor number three sophomore Carter Hollis is one of the middles. 
The other middle is Tyrone Ely. Your setter is Luke Geisen. He wears number four. Your outside hitters, Elijah Davison, the junior, and Joshua Zagorski, the senior. And your right side hitter is Austin Zagorski, the sophomore. And your libero tonight is Matthew Falby, the junior. I don't have stats for Collinsville. They are still working on trying to get those situated. I do have stats for the Owls, and Kai Stocky leads their teams in leads the team in aces with 13. Also leads in points with 21 in their first five games. Stocky is also the leader in the kill department with seven. He is assisted or he's attempted 16. While Ali, or excuse me, uh, yeah, Ali Al Hennessy has 20 attempts to lead the team, but only four have ended up falling in. As far as the blocks are concerned, that is a tie between uh, Scott Isaac and Nick Huck Raymond. They each have four. Ike Brumand and Kai Stocky right behind them with three. And Diggs, that is also shared by three different players. All of them have eight. Scott Bailey, or Bailey Scott, excuse me, Eli Garrett and Tyler Davis. I told you these backwards, <laughs> these last names first, first names last is gonna get me at some point. But once we get going here, I'll just be using last names. So. Hope you all uh, enjoyed the interview there with Malachi Oliver. He was a treat. That thought that was kind of a fun interview. Loved his uh, honesty and answering some of those questions. Never know what you're going to get when you interview a teenager. And uh, that was a pretty entertaining interview, if I do say so myself. All right, Collinsville. They'll be on the left side of your screen. They're in their huddle right now wearing their white uniforms, trimmed in a little purple on the sides, and word Kayhawks on the backs right above their purple numbers. On the other side, the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience, they are the Owls, and they have the word Owls written on the backs of their navy blue jerseys. They have a little bit of silver going down the sides underneath the armpits, white stripes around the sleeve. They have the word Collegiate written across the fronts of their jerseys, and their numbers and letters are all in white. So the referee will check things out, make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. No libero for the Owls, so they just went with the uh, starting six, and... Collinsville is already substituted. Matthew Falby has come in. As he is Collinsville's libero, and he is the only one out there on the floor wearing the purple jersey for Collinsville. Luke Geisen's going to get us started. The junior is back behind the service line, and as soon as we get the whistle, we will be underway. And there it is. Geisen sends it over, and it's picked up right in the middle there by Stocky, and then over on the far side, partially blocked there by Collinsville. That was tipped, and it ends up going out of bounds as Matthew Falby gave it his best effort before that ball hit the ground over on the far side of the court. And it's one nothing in favor of the Owls. We're just underway here in set number one. This is Illinois, so it's the uh, best of three. Whoever wins two sets first matches over. On the Illinois side, it's five sets as the minimum, so whoever wins three, it's over. And there's Collinsville's first point and a nice kill by Joshua Zagorski. And we are tied at one. So Collinsville will get the score again, and this time it'll be the senior Joshua Zagorski. And he'll send it on over, and a nice low shot picked up in the middle and stays in the middle. And then the Owls finally have to get it over, and they do so. A kick ball that stays up in the air, so Collinsville survives by the use of a foot in a volleyball game. And then it didn't matter because that one falls in right behind Tyrone Ely. The Owls do not have enough players to put out a JV team, so there was no JV game before this contest, so we just waited, and we have the varsity game on time, which is a very rare thing in the world of volleyball. That one kind of fooled the guy over on the far side. That's Ezra Botts. He thought he was going to go one way. Ball went the other way. It ends up going down, and we are tied 2-2 as the libero checks out, and Carter Hollis checks back in. Now back to serve for Collinsville is junior Tyrone Ely. Ely sends it over the net, and it's picked up again by Stocky. And now set up but behind Scott, and that ball ends up going the opposite direction that it was intended. And it's 3-2 in favor of Collinsville as Ely will go back to serve it up once again. He does so, barely gets over to net. Nice pick up, ball was spinning though, and it's finally picked up and sent over by Stocky. Collinsville setting it up, Geisen, he gets it to Zagorski, and Zagorski hits it into the net. Unforced errors. 3-3 is our score. 
softball team was rained out today. I would imagine that just about any outdoor baseball softball games across the St. Louis area were rained out. Here is a serve by Scott, and he hits it into the net. So one for unforced error deserves another unforced error. Four to three in favor of Collinsville. Exchange is going on. Coach Nichols told me before the game that he's going to have a lot of them. So here is Adam Reiniger. Reiniger, last time we did a game, did not participate in that contest. Reiniger, one of the premier soccer players in the area. And he uh, had a fantastic year as a sophomore. That one goes off a of stocky but goes backwards. And now it's up to Raymond Huck to get it over. And he does so, but that goes out. And Collinsville will pick up another point. And they're up 5-3 are the Cahawks. Another serve coming up here for Adam Reiniger. Reiniger delivers, and that one just tips the top of the net. Those are always confusing, and confusing as it is. Carter Hollis made it more so by tipping that ball over the net before it even had a chance to get all the way over. So Reiniger on a little service run here, 6-3 to three in favor of Collinsville. Reiniger sends another one over, this one a little bit farther, and that one's out, and it was a good thing that uh, Sean Anselman over there didn't touch it or else that ball would have probably went out and it would have been a point for Collinsville. So they'll make some shuffling over there on their rotation. Here is Eli Garrett back to serve for the Owls. Garrett doesn't get much of a uh, walking start to that. Over here on this side, a attempt there on the kill by Elijah Davison. It was blocked up front initially there by the Owls, but it was blocked out of bounds, so Collinsville picks up the point, 7-4. to four. Now back to serve it up for Collinsville is Davidson. He'll send it across, picked up by Stocky, and then just shoved over by Zagorski as that ball was heading over the Collinsville net. Zagorski put it back over before it made it that far, so Collinsville now out front, 8-4. to four. And Davidson back to serve up another. He does. Stocky picks it up, shoves it up front, and it gets over. And then Collinsville, nice job over there by Hollis to get it across. But that ball was picked up nicely on the other side by the Owls. Now a setup for Zagorski down the line. And despite the diving attempt over there by Garrett, Collinsville picks up another point, And the Owls would like a timeout. So we'll step aside as well. We're back in just a moment on the Cahawks Sports Network. Just because you can cut your own hair doesn't mean you should. The shop. A great place in Collinsville for men and boys haircuts is where you should take your hair. The shop is owned and operated by Collinsville High School graduates Danny Cress and Jody Neiman and is located at 103 South Seminary Street in Uptown Collinsville. The shop isn't just another place to get a haircut as Danny and Jody take great joy in getting to know their clients and look forward to turning those clients into friends. When you sit in a stylish chair at the shop, Jody and Danny pride themselves on getting to know you well enough to say, the usual? So, men and boys, if you're tired of the same old cookie cutter approach to haircuts, check out Danny and Jody at the shop. You may just walk out with not only a fantastic cut, but you may also walk out with a friend or two. The shop in Collinsville, 618 772 7175. No appointment necessary. The shop, 103 South Seminary in Uptown Collinsville. Davidson serves up another one, and the Owls mishandle it on their side. So another point for Collinsville, and it's 10-4 in favor of the Cahawks. And one more time, the junior Elijah Davidson back to serve. It's across, and it's picked up by Anselman, and almost off the uh, scoreboard. It was off the scoreboard. And Collinsville is going to pick up another point there as the Owls hit the Scoreboard hanging above center court here at Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium. So Davidson on quite the service roll here. That one's picked up by Stocky. He's got a little spin on that ball whenever he picks it up. Stocky gets it over. Reiniger sends it up front. And now Falby over to Malachi Oliver, our pregame guest into the game. And then shoved back into the corner, and that one's in. It falls right behind Matthew Falby. And the Owls have a much-needed point. 11-5 in favor of Collinsville. Back to serve is... Raymond Huck, or Huck Raymond. I think it's Huck Raymond. One with the orange shoes. He sends it over. Falby, it's off of him, and it has that spin on it and goes into the stands and out of play. 
point for the Owls, 11 to six in favor of Collinsville. Another serve coming up from the Owls. Salmon colored shoes, more like it. That one goes into the net. So Collinsville has a point given to them, 12 to six in favor of the Cayhawks as Tyrone Ely checks back in for Collinsville. Back to serve is going to be Carter Hollis. Hollis stands all the way over in the far corner. Sends it to the opposite corner. Picked up by Stocky. Moved up front and sent over by the Owls. And now a setup. Here is Reiniger for Zagorski and a big kill there by Zagorski. That's his fourth of this game. And Collinsville extends that lead to 13 to six. Another serve coming up here for Carter Hollis. He'll send it into the middle. That one's popped straight up into the air off of a girder in the ceiling. Stocky sends it over with one hand. Now Reiniger sets it up for Zagorski again. He'll just punch it over. And then a set up by Huck over across. And the Owls get it, and it stays alive. And they set it up backwards. Malachi Oliver had no idea. I think the whistle had blown anyway. There was a net violation, I believe. Isaac Scott checks back into the game for the Owls. And Tyler Davis. The defensive specialist will go back to serve for Collegiate. 13-7 in favor of Collinsville. Play to who gets to 25 first. And that one is Oliver as he puts it down the line. That one's going to end up in the stands, and Collinsville picks up another point. Nice job by Malachi Oliver there, seeing that empty spot down the sideline. As Austin Zagorski and... Luke Geisen check back in. Geisen will come back to serve. Geisen sends it across. And a little confusion there between Stocky and Huck as both of them initially started to where the ball was going to be, but then both of them backed off. 15-7 in favor of Collinsville. Here is Geisen's next serve. That one's into the net. Fifteen to eight. Saw the uh, underclassmen for the Lady Chaos soccer team back in the conference room making up some posters for senior night tomorrow. Lady Chaos return home after snapping a losing streak last night at Belleville West, and they'll enjoy senior festivities a little bit more tomorrow. Coming off of a win, they play Modern Day tomorrow, and we'll be there to carry the festivities and the game. That one is shot off of the backboard. That one rolls all the way across and. Somehow it's saved and it goes right into the net. After all that work, Isaac Scott was like, sorry guys, I hit it into the net after we saved all that. Went up into the girders. I think it rolled across one of the uh, basketball nets that is stuck up in the ceiling. They have them all raised because it's not basketball season. So it rolled off of one of those and they saved it but couldn't prevent their own miscues. Saved back in the back. Now Stocky has to get it over. He does so. Picked up over there by Falby. There's a setup from Geisen. Ooh, nice pickup after Davidson shot. Almost made it over, and now the Owls get one across. And it's 16-9 in favor of Collinsville. Kai Stocky back to serve. Sends it across. Nope, into the net. Seventeen nine in favor of Collinsville. First one to twenty five wins. You have to win by two points. So twenty five to twenty four will not work. That's a lobbed shot over there by Ely, and he then jumps up front and a block up front, but it comes down on the wrong side of the net, right in front of Carter Hollis and Austin, Austin Zagorski. So the point belongs to the Owls, and Collinsville has a seven point lead. Back to serve is Isaac Scott, six two senior. Middle hitter for the Owls. He pops one high, and that was too soon, I think. Or improper rotation for Collinsville, so that cost him a point, 17 to 11. Scott sends another pop shot. This one is picked up by Davidson. Geisen sets it up for Zagorski. He'll punch it over, and it's picked up over there by Scott. Now over onto the side for Botts, and Botts gets the return right back in his face, and then accidentally shoved into the net there by Huck. 
as he tried the old two-hand push forward, but he wasn't up high enough to get it over the net. 18 to 11, Collinsville. Substitutions going on. Adam Reininger checks back in. So does Malachi Oliver as Geisen and Zagorski go to the bench. Austin Zagorski to the bench. Joshua still out there, and Reininger back to serve. Adams sends it over, picked up by Stocky, but it spins backwards once again. A couple of times we've seen these serves go over the other side, and the initial contact has them spin backwards. 19 to 11 in favor of Collinsville. Another timeout. We'll be back here in just a moment on the Kayhawk Sports Network. Hi, Purple and White fans. This is Dan Mode, class of 1989. I'm with New American Funding. Myself and New American Funding are proud sponsors of Kayhawk Athletics. As we have great coaches at CHS on all the courts, fields, and tracks, we like to coach you through the home buying process and refinance process. If there's ever anything we can do, I can be reached at 618-973-5343 or www.danmodeloans.com. Let's support our student athletes at CHS. They deserve the best. Thank you for your time and go Kayhawks. Back here at Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium. My name's Todd Duke. Glad you're with us. A little bit of a rainy, cloudy, yucky day outside, so more reason to stay in. That one is way over hit by Reiniger. 19 to 12 in favor of Collinsville. Eli Garrett back to serve. 5'9 junior setter for the Owls. Serve across, picked up by Zagorski, and then Reiniger sets it up. Oh, that was a nice block. Nice block up front by the Owls. He's the only guy out there that I don't have a name for. My roster stops at 14, and he's wearing 17, so I have no idea. But that was a nice block by the young man wearing 17. Elijah Davison got some height. When he came down, he had no time to react and move. Here's another serve. It's picked up by the libero for Collinsville. Reiniger shoves it over to Oliver, and it's picked up on the other side by Stocky. Now back over to Huck, and Huck hints it into the net. 20 to 13, Collinsville the first team to hit the elusive 20 mark. Carter Hollis ready to check back in. Or excuse me, that is not Carter Hollis, that is Dylan Brown. Back to serve is Elijah Davison. Davidson sends it across, and it's picked up in the middle by Anselman. Moved up front, sent over by the Owls, and now Falby to Reiniger, to Zagorski, and that's blocked over on the other side. Nicely done there by Nick Huck Raymond, and he was excited. Went out a little yell, and then he's so excited he gets to go back to serve. 20-14, to 14, Collinsville up by six. That one's into the middle, and it's picked up by Falby, and then Reiniger saves it, and Zagorski sends it over. Nice line drive shot, man. I don't know how he managed to do that, but he got that one to sink on its way down. Nice effort on the other side there by Anselman, but there was really nothing he could do about that. 21-14, to Collinsville extends their lead. Carter Hollis back to serve. Hollis sends it across. Stocky trying to get a point out of it, and he does. Blocked by Collinsville, but then the ball rolled right down their arms and straight down onto their feet, and their feet are on the other side of the net, so point belongs to Collegiate. Back to serve, Tyler Davis. Davis sends it across, picked up by Zagorski. Reiniger trying to set it up to Zagorski on the far side, and blocked again. The tag team match there of Isaac Scott and Al Hennessy. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Husseini, maybe. Zagorski to Reiniger. And a nice smash over there by Dylan Brown, but picked up even nicely by the Owls, and then they send it back over. It's popped up, and here's another try for Brown. Gets it to Zagorski, and again, blocked out. Over on the far side by Scott. And it's 21 to 17 in favor of Collinsville. That lead is starting to shrink. Another serve coming up here for Davis. 
Picked up by Zagorski, and now it's gonna go out of bounds. Kicked, stays alive, second time. Collinsville has used their feet to keep a ball alive. This one's blocked out, goes backwards, and that one is not gonna be hit enough times or as few as times as needed for it to count. And Collinsville picks up a much needed point, 22 to 17 as Austin Zagorski checks back into the game. As does Geisen. Geisen will go back to serve. Reiniger and Brown to the bench. Geisen sends it across. Stocky sends it way up in the air and picked up by Scott and then pushed across by Davis. Collinsville setting it up. Geisen over to Zagorski and Zagorski with another kill shot. His fifth of this game. And Collinsville up 23 to 17, two points away from closing out this first set victory. Geisen started the game with the first serve of the night. And we'll see if he can close it back there. Stocky pops it straight up again. And then over on the far side, just pushed across. And a point for Collinsville on a net violation. 24-17, so game Point here, set point for Collinsville. Here is Geisen. Stocky shoves it over, and Geisen picks it up. Now set up for Zagorski. Trying to kill it, but he sends it into the net. Trying to get one of those finesse balls down the line with no speed on it. Just a nice little touch over, but he didn't touch it enough, and it rolled right down the front of the net. 24 to 18. Collinsville in the lead. Here is Bailey Scott back to serve. He does so. And a miscue there between Davidson and Falby. And the Owls are one point away from hitting that 20-point plateau. Comes into the middle. Zagorski picks it up. Geisen sets it up for Ely. Ely just punches it over. And now Scott will send it backwards to Stocky. And it's partially tipped up front, kept alive by Collinsville. Foul be over to Zagorski, partially blocked up front. Here is Stocky, he gets it over. Picked up in the back line by Davidson. Now Geisen sets it up for Zagorski. And Zagorski with the kill. Six kills in the game. And that kill did it for Collinsville. 25 to 19 is the score of set number one. And we will take a timeout. Set number two will be coming your way here in just a moment on the Kayhawk Sports Network. All Pro Tees in Caseyville is your place for custom apparel and has been for over 20 years now. Why? All Pro Tees can handle any size project, big or small, and they specialize in large group orders. At All Pro Tees, quality is number one on their list of priorities, as is evident by their excellent customer service. Do we mention All Pro Tees has over 20 years of experience? They can even help with fundraisers and event merchandising for your group. So for all of your apparel needs, for civic groups, sports teams, business outings, or even a family reunion, your apparel needs stop at All Pro Tees. All Pro Tees in Caseyville, right across the street from Cahawk Stadium. Online at allprotees.com or on Facebook at All Pro Tees. Or call All Pro Tees at 344-2200. Are the lights on your dashboard putting on a show? Bring it to Mike's Automotive in Collinsville. Mike's Automotive is also a T3 certified tire center. They can handle all of the basics like oil changes and tune-ups and the not-so-basics like complete engine rebuilds. Mike's Automotive also has 24-hour towing and has three locations, Milstadt, St. Louis, and in Collinsville. The Collinsville location is at 1150 St. Louis Road, just blocks from the high school. Or call... 345-0611, online at mikesautomotive.net and Mike's Automotive on Facebook. Do you have a big land improvement project that requires some outside help? Call Petroff Trucking Company. The Petroff companies have been shaping the metro area since 1975. Family owned and operated, Petroff Trucking Company can do the job and do it right. Hauling, excavating and grading, they do that and more. Petroff Companies also has roll-off dumpster rentals. They also specialize in dirt and rock sales. Petroff Trucking Company can help you develop your land for your needs. Petroff Trucking Company. Check out their website, PetroffTrucking.com, or give them a call, 618-797-6100. Petroff Trucking Company, shaping the metro area since 1975. Collinsville High School alumni Stacy Lowenstein, CHS Class of 91, 
Lisa Bassetto, Sarah Sulky, and Tracy Lemp, CHS Class of 94, Tony Geisen, CHS Class of 96, and Kevin Robinson, CHS Class of 99, want to wish all of our Cahawks a great year. We look forward to cheering you on and supporting you. Work hard on the court and the field, as well as in the classroom. Remember, once a Cahawk, always a Cahawk. Hashtag Cahawk family. Back here at Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium, Todd Duke with you. Glad you're with us. Cahawks won the first set, 25 to 19. We begin set number two. Owls need to win this set to force a third and final set. And Jacob, or excuse me, Joshua Zagorski with six kills in that first set. He leads the team in that department. Scoreboard's going wonky. Carter Hollis and Elijah Davison each had a kill in that contest as well. All right, everything, everybody's where they're supposed to be, and we'll start off with the Owls with the first serve here of match number two. Six foot one senior Bailey Scott with the honors. He'll send it across, and it's picked up by Davidson. Sent across the way for Zagorski. He'll tap it across and saved on the other side by Huck. Now Huck gets it back, but he hits it into the net. Got some height on that one, but he mishit it while he was up there. One to nothing in favor of Collinsville. Joshua Zagorski, the senior outside hitter. Ready to serve it up for Collinsville. The goalie for the hockey team sends it over and now Collinsville goes to work. Here is Geisen. Pops it all the way up over onto the far side for Davidson. He gets it across. And then Davis, he picks it up. And then a ball partially blocked up front. But that finds an open spot right in the middle of the floor. One to one. Back to serve this time is Kai Stocky. Stocky sends it up. And it's picked up by Davidson. Now he gets a reset there by Geisen. And we have a... Net violation, not a net violation, but it looked like uh, Ezra Botts stepped underneath the net and stepped across the line, and that is why Collinsville got that point. So here is Tyrone Ely back to serve it up for Collinsville. Ely sends it. Davis picks it up. Moved up front by Scott and then punched over. Nice save over there after the punch over by Huck. And Davidson then sends it over into the far corner, and that's in. Lady Kayhawk volleyball coach Katie McCarthy over there on that near side corner down in the far right-hand corner of your screen. She made that call. I know she got married, but I can't remember her last name now. <laughs> so I just go with what I got. And punched over to the side, and <laughs> that was off of the shoulder of Ezra Botts. I want to apologize to the Owls fans out there. I think I said their head coach's name was Alicia Kennedy. It's actually Elijah Big difference between the male version and the female version of that name, but it's spelled E L Y S H A. Usually Elijah, I see, is spelled E L I S I A, so that kind of threw me off there, so I apologize. Timeout called by the head coach for Collegiate, Mr. Kennedy. We will step aside for just a moment as well. We're back here after a brief break on the Cahawk Sports Network. Pack Mail of Collinsville. Locally owned and operated by Ryan Combs. Pack Mail can ship anything, anywhere. They treat you like a neighbor because, well, you are a neighbor. Pack Mail offers shipping materials and containers, private mailboxes, as well as climate controlled self storage. Visit Pack Mail at 407 Beltline Road in Collinsville. Online at weshipstlouis.com or call Pack Mail at 346 4884. Five to one in favor of Collinsville. Timeout taken by the Owls as they have run off a little bit of a lead here has Collinsville. Here is Tyrone Ely trying to extend that lead. He sends it right into the middle, picked up by Stocky. Moved over onto the side. Now Scott gets it across, but he hits it too hard. And Collinsville will go up by five, six to one.
Tyrone Ely back to serve it up again. He does, picked up by Davis. He shoves it up front, almost shoved it into a spot where there wasn't anybody, and then a nice block up front by Carter Hollis. Right when Ezra Botts sent it over. Looks like the scoreboard's off again. Here is Ely, sends one that barely gets across the net. Picked up, those are tough to pick up, and now a net violation. No, they said he palmed the ball, carried it, instead of hitting it, so... That's why Collinsville gets another point, and it's 8-1 to one in favor of the Cahawks. Ely back there enjoying some service time. Sends it across and picked up over there by Scott. Scott gets it back and sends it again too far. Second time, he has that fist balled up, and he just barrels it into the ball and sends it a little bit too far, 9-1 to one in favor of Collinsville. Ely ready for another serve. Picked up by Davis. Moved up over here onto this near side, but there wasn't enough room for Huck Raymond to do anything with it as that ball kind of came close to that post over there where the referee on the chair on the ladder stands. 10-1 to 1 in favor of Collinsville. Ely with another serve. That one is going to go in Collinsville's favor as well. An ace for Ely. Dude, the scoreboard's all whacked out. <laughs> Yeah, it is uh, flashing some binary code over there. There's another nice ace, two in a row by Ely. And another timeout taken by the Owls, so we'll step aside as well, and we're back here in just a moment on the Cahawks Sports Network. The reviews are in. Old Herald Brewery and Distillery in Collinsville is a hit in the Metro East. Folks both local and just visiting the area are calling Old Herald Brewery and Distillery a must-stop destination in Collinsville. Old Herald Brewery and Distillery in Collinsville is located at 115 East Clay Street in Collinsville and is home to one of the only restaurants in the state with their own brewery and distillery that produces some of the best brews and spirits in the industry. And the food? All created by an in-house chef using local ingredients that will please any palate. Old Herald Brewery and Distillery in Collinsville has daily specials for both inside diners as well as offering curbside pickup specials and family size specials. And don't forget to take home a bottle or a growler of beers brewed on site at Old Herald Brewery and Distillery. Old Herald Brewery and Distillery in Collinsville. Check their Facebook page for daily specials, online ordering at oldheraldbrewery.com or give them a call at 855-8027. Once again, welcome back to Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium. What happened here? No, wrong one. That's why. Grab the wrong microphones. Wrong headset. That's the guest headset. That one rolls across the bottom of the net. I'm like, wait a minute. Something doesn't sound quite right here. <laughs> uh, usually somebody else is wearing the headset. Not just me wearing the one. 13 to 1 in favor of Collinsville. And a hit that just kind of rolled off the bottom of the knuckles there by Huck Raymond and rolled right under the net. Collinsville up 14 to 1. Close battle in the first match, 25 19. But Collinsville's kind of got a lopsided score going on here. Ely ticks it over the net. Davis picks it up, and then there's no one anyone can do about it. That ball barely made it over the net. And when Davis got to it, he sent it into the net. And those are hard to recover from. 15 to 1 now in favor of the Cahawks. Tyrone Ely, he's enjoying a lot of service time back there. Stocky picks that one up, sent over by Scott, and then that one's going to go out of bounds. Off of the hands of Huck Raymond. And it's 16-1 to now in favor of Collinsville. Ely back to serve again. Sends it up. Davis picks it up once again, and Scott sends it up in the air for the setup, and that one's going to go out of bounds. Yeah. Ezra Botts and his teammates are having a hard time trying to figure out where to hit this ball. 17-1 to 1 in favor of Collinsville. And a nice interview, as you uh, may have known already, with Malachi Scott. That dude's got more facial hair at the age of 18 than I've had my whole life. <laughs> Davis picks up another Ely serve. Scott sets it up again, and Botts will send that one out as well. They're not bots there. That was Huck Raymond. 
18 to one in favor of Collinsville and the Owls kind of can't get out of their own way right now. They're getting some opportunities. They send them too far and there's a lot of times those opportunities fall through the wayside. Robert Freeman makes an appearance on the floor for Collinsville. He'll take the place of Austin Zagorski. And Ely, he still stands back behind the service line serving up some beach balls. Back over here again for Huck Raymond. This time it's picked up, and he sends it over. And then up front, a nice job there by John Carl, who is into the game for the first time, as is Dominic Vanderiet. So the coach told me before the game he's going to play almost everybody that he can, and he is true to his word. The only one I haven't seen so far is Joey Rauch. Ely. He's been back there for a good, what, 17 straight points? And they make it 18. As it was uh, one to one. Yeah, and then the serve, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, it was one one, so 19 straight points with Ely back serving. Collinsville trying to pick up another one over here and that one goes into the net and that's gonna end that streak. Yeah, it was 20. All right, so finally somebody not named Ely gets to uh, serve, and that is going to be Isaac Scott. Scott sends it over, and it's picked up by Freeman, set up by Geisen for Brown. Not much of a setup, though, and it ends up going into the net. We'll admit that was a bad setup, and it's 20 to 3. Long way to go here for Isaac Scott and his teammates. Geisen sets it up into the middle, and that one's uh, going to be out of bounds before Eli Garrett can get there in front of the scorer's table. As Oliver and Reiniger will check back into the game for Collinsville, 21-3 in favor of the Cahawks. Back to serve, Adam Reiniger. He'll send it all the way to the back line. That's shoved up by Shinoy Mammon, and nothing anyone can do with it after that. Collinsville picks up another point, 22-3. Shinoy Mammon, 5'8", senior, into the game for the first time for the Owls. M-A-M-M-E-N is his last name, Mammon. And it's another miss hit. Mammon couldn't get it. Off of the initial hit up front, 23 to three. Collinsville up by 20 and two points away from wrapping up a uh, very quick night here at Virgil Fletcher Gymnasium. No JV game, so it is gonna be a very quick night. Right now we're just about 40 minutes into the night and it's probably going to end before an hour is over with. And that one's gonna go out of bounds and another point for Collinsville, 24 to three and the Cahawks one point away from securing this match. Reiniger back to serve it up once again. He does, picked up by Stocky, sent all the way to the side, popped back into the middle, and Stocky's going to have to get it over. He does. Over onto the far side. There's a kill shot that's for him, man. I'll tell you what. John Carl gets the game-winning kill shot, and Collinsville is victorious here tonight. 25-19 the first set, and a lopsided 23, 25, excuse me, to three win in set number two to end the night in Collinsville's favor. And that will take us into the post game program brought to you tonight by Chiropractic Works in Collinsville. Owned and operated by Dr. Chris McCluskey. He and his crew are focused on helping as many people as possible live high quality lives all through chiropractic care and wellness. You can visit Dr. McCluskey at Chiropractic Works in Collinsville, 410 Regency Center, just off of the Beltline Road in Collinsville. Give them a call, 343 3602 or online, chiropracticworkscollinsville.com. Com. Post game show comes your way next on the Cahawk Sports. At Chiropractic Works, our mission is to help as many people live as high quality of life for as long as possible without the use of drugs and surgery. We have state of the art testing available to see if we think we might be able to help you with any health issues that you're dealing with. 
Whether it's neck pain, back pain, headache, sinus, allergies, numbness, tingling, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, or ankle problems, we've helped many people solve these issues without the use of drugs and surgery. If you'd like to get to the root cause of your health problems, feel free to give us a call and schedule a consultation or a new patient exam to see if we think we might be able to help you. Just because we're adults doesn't mean we don't have toys, am I right? If your adult toys consist of boats, campers, or RVs, then you need to call the GASA storage team of professionals. Winter weather in the Midwest can be quite harsh, and finding a place to properly store those expensive toys for winter can be just as rough as a Midwest winter. That's where the GASA storage team comes in, with outdoor self-storage and covered storage for your toys. They even have tractor-trailer parking. Conveniently located at Horseshoe Lake Road in 111 in Pontoon Beach. GASA Storage, for the safe storage of all of your toys. Contact the GASA Storage Team, GASA Storage at gmail.com, or call today, GASA Storage Team, 618-797-6100. Looking to buy a new home or sell your current home? Trust the Blaylock Group of EXP Realty with all of your real estate needs. The real estate market is hot right now, and you can trust the years of experience the Blaylock Group brings to the table. The Blaylock Group can help you find your dream home, or they can help you get top dollar for your current home. Give Peyton or Emily Blaylock a call today at the Blaylock Group of EXP Realty, 618-780-4622. That's 618-780-4622. The Blaylock Group of EXP Realty. Ogle Auctions in Collinsville, your place for online auctioning. Go to ogleauctions.com to check out the week's items up for auction. Ogle Auctions deals in everyday items like board games, t-shirts, clocks, antique items, and more. To collectible items, anyone in the market for, say, a trolley? Or maybe you're into more treasure troves like vinyl albums, cars, or motorcycles. And Ogle Auctions is always on the lookout for more auctionable items. Ogle Auctions of Collinsville. Auctions every Sunday at 7 p.m. Check them out at www.ogleauctions.com or call Kim or Mike Ogle at 618-218-2117. Looking for a little bite to eat in a nice, friendly establishment before heading out to a game? Look no further than LC's Pub in Caseyville. Just blocks from Collinsville High School, LC's Pub is the pub of choice for Cahawk fans before, after, or even during Cahawk games. LC's Pub features a wide variety of traditional bar food like burgers and fries, chicken wings and chicken strips, appetizers like pepper jack mac and cheese bites, fried pickles, and green beans. Plus, they have salads, fish, shrimp, and more. LC's Pub also features an outdoor patio, a gaming room, weekly poker tournaments, and a pool table, plus enough TVs for all the sports fans. And LC's Pub shows Cahawk games live as well as Blues and Cardinals games. LC's Pub, 605 North Main Street in Caseyville, right across the intersection from All Pro Tees. Call for carryout orders at 618-855-9007 and on Facebook at LC's Pub. LC's Pub, Cahawk fans' pub of choice. The Collinsville Daily News, the new online source for everything newsworthy in and around Collinsville. This news source is designed to be the heartbeat of the Collinsville community and is owned and operated by members that live in this area. The Collinsville Daily News generates their revenue with local support from the community in which they serve and from advertising. They do not charge to read their content so you'll never run into one of those annoying paywalls. Not only that, but the Collinsville Daily News offers free classified advertising. You have items you want to buy, sell, or trade? It's free to post. Wedding or engagements announcements as well as obituaries. All free at CollinsvilleDailyNews.com. Plus, they have the content that matters most. Collinsville news you need to know, coverage of Cahawk sports, and a keen eye on city news. The Collinsville Daily News also has an event tab that allows you to find out what is going on in and around the region for you and your family, the heartbeat of the community. Helping readers make sense of an increasingly chaotic world. Check them out at CollinsvilleDailyNews.com on social media sites, Facebook and Instagram. The heartbeat of this community is the Collinsville Daily News. First National Bank of Waterloo, with over 100 years serving the Metro East. 
visit First National Bank of Waterloo at their Maryville and Collinsville locations for all of your banking, mortgage, and lending needs. Why? Super low closing costs, low construction loan rates, and they do so much to support our local communities. When you need a loan, call the Collinsville team at First National Bank of Waterloo at 618-345-1121 or visit their Maryville and Collinsville locations or online at fnbwaterloo.bank. First National Bank of Waterloo, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Times-Tribune, Madison County's longest-running leading independent newspaper. The Times-Tribune covers Troy, Collinsville, Maryville, and all the villages and communities of Madison County. From area city halls to sports, including the Collinsville Cahawks and Unit 10 District News, the Times-Tribune covers that and more. The Times-Tribune is a weekly hometown newspaper published every Thursday, and a one-year subscription is only $40 for the printed and online editions. For more information, call the Times-Tribune at 618-667-3111, online at timestribunenews.com, or follow them on Facebook at Times-Tribune. At Chiropractic Works, our mission is to help as many people live as high quality of life for as long as possible without the use of drugs and surgery. We have state-of-the-art testing available to see if we think we might be able to help you with any health issues that you're dealing with. Whether it's neck pain, back pain, headache, sinus, allergies, numbness, tingling, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee, or ankle problems, we've helped many people solve these issues without the use of drugs and surgery. If you'd like to get to the root cause of your health problems, feel free to give us a call and schedule a consultation or a new patient exam to see if we think we might be able to help you. Once again, we welcome you back into the Chiropractic Works post-game show here on the Chaos Sports Network. The Collinsville Chaos victorious here tonight against the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience from across the way in St. Louis. 25-19 first match, 25-3 in the second match. And uh, Joshua Zagorski led the way in the kill department for Collinsville with six kills. All those came in the uh, first match and... Uh, Tyrone Ely had himself quite the uh, service going on back there behind the line as Collinsville's head coach Mike Nichols joins us now. Nice win for your team out there, Coach. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Wins always feel good. All right. Let's talk about a couple of things. First of all, uh, Joshua Zagorski, six kills. That was just in the first game. He didn't even have any in the second. By then, the scoreboard was going wonky, so nobody could keep up with it anyway. Uh, but a nice job from him. But Tyrone Ely, man, 20 straight points back there from the service line. <laughs> Uh, you, you look at those streaks sometimes, and you uh, you kind of get flabbergasted when somebody does like 11 or 12 in the row in, in a row. But, man, 20. Tyrone, love his attitude. He was very disappointed that it ended on our hitting error. It wasn't even his mistake serving. He, he wanted to serve it out. All right, uh, and I want to thank you once again for allowing me to uh, talk to Mr. Oliver up here. He was the... He was a blast. We, you'll have to listen to that interview, man. I'm telling you. I, I know. Once you told me that he likes to talk, I'm like, oh, boy. Yeah. I guess well, i got to go home and listen to it. Yeah. All right. Uh, you said you wanted to get a bunch of players in because you wanted to get everybody some work since the JV team didn't play tonight. You accomplished that feat. And tell me why you wanted to do that. Uh, it's nice to give everybody a little varsity experience. Some guys got to hear their name announced before the game. Uh, John Carl, Dominic came in, both got some kills in that second game. They were super excited. It's nice to – get that excitement going, that energy flowing. Hopefully we can carry that into the second half of the season. Yeah, John Carl had the game-winning kill, too. That was something to see. That was a nice rip. Yeah, sure was. Um, talk to me about the difference between the two games, man. You look at the scoreboard, it's like 25-19. Wow, that's close. And then 25-3, that's not. So yeah, talk, talk about the difference. I've definitely been on the other side of that. Uh, talking to their coach after the game, we were all just disappointed with the fact that they played a pretty good set the first game. They had a good block. They had some good serve-receive. And then they just kind of quit a little bit that second match. It's hard to generate that energy when you get down that far. When um, the ball goes across the net and the guy on the other side hits it with his hands and you immediately see the spin go backwards the opposite direction it's supposed to go, is that something that can be taught or is that just happenstance? Uh, that's just having strong hands and understanding the ball's coming a little harder than maybe it looks like it is, and it's just practice. I know they're a new team like we are, and I wish them the best, and it's just going to take a lot of volleyball. 
All right, you guys, uh, no rest for the victors. You have uh, St. Mary's tomorrow, so what do you know about them? Maryville Christian Maryville tomorrow. Christian, excuse me, yes. Um, I know they're a new program as well. Uh, we did not play them earlier in the season. They canceled on us, uh, so I don't know what to expect. I couldn't find a lot of film on them, so we'll see where we're at when we get there tomorrow. All right, sir, thank you for the visit. We'll see you down the road. Thanks. All right, that is Mike Nichols, the head coach for your Collinsville Cowboys Boys Volleyball team. They're victorious here tonight, 25-19. Okay, that's all right. 25-19 first set, 25-2-3 in the uh, second set. So that's going to do it for us. We're back at you tomorrow. We're, we're no rest for the Wick victors either. We are going to be across the way at Cahawk Stadium. Senior night for your girls' soccer team. They'll be taking on the modern-day Lady Knights. We'll be on the air to bring you the festivities of senior night. And, of course, we'll bring you the game as well. And that's uh, scheduled for a 6.30 start. But usually when senior night rolls around, things run a little bit behind schedule. Then we end the week on Friday with a little softball action, so the uh, weather's going to warm up. Going to be in the 80s on Friday. Looking forward to doing a softball game in softball weather. So how about that? A big thank you to Malachi Oliver joining me in the pregame show and thanks to Coach Mike Nichols joining me in the postgame show. My name is Todd Duke and until tomorrow night, everyone, have yourselves a fantastic rest of your evening. <laughs>